Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You are the reason I live. You are the one for me. The very one for me. You are the reason why I live. You are the reason I live. You are the one for me. The very one for me. Why should I fear when I have you surrounded by your love, everlasting love? Why should I care what people say? They don't know what you mean to me. You are the reason I live. You are the one for me. The very one for me. Yes, you are. You are the reason I live. You are the one for me. You are the one for me. You've been the very one for me. Very one. Tell me why should I? Father, Lord, I thank you for the life of your son. Jesus Christ, I praise you for a fulfilled life. You may be seated. Oh. The lion himself. My 31st, 31 years life journey with my husband. TBJ, the man in the synagogue. That is the name I fondly call him. TBJ, the man in the synagogue. Our life was not without trials and tests. But I, as a Christian, I know that trials and tests cannot break the one who relies on God's strength. You taught me to know that tests and trials are the soil on which our faith flourishes. Your vision became more clearer to me with time and without distractions. As I watch, see you labor with passion, with dedication, hard work. To grow from eight membership assembly, sitting on a mat, to a wooden chair, and to the level which we are today, all to the glory of God. You have groomed me to the woman I am today. And in your word, for gold to become gold, it must pass through fire. I stand here today to say thank you for choosing me. Thank you for loving me for caring for me, nurturing me. Thank you for being a good father to our children. You are not just a father who merely provides, but a father 
who wants the best and give out his best at all times. I thank you for shielding me from those who came to our home with ulterior motives. And because you could not give in to their ill desires, you are bent on soiling your noble names. Yet, you were undeterred. I thank you for being you, TBJ, my love. You are unique in every sense. That's the man who does not understand the word impossible. He doesn't understand the word impossible. And above all, I thank you for using your life, spending your life on things that will outlive you. We will keep the fire burning. We will keep your dreams alive by God's grace. You are the man I loved. I was proud. And forever, I will be proud to be your wife. You have made it clear to us all that this is the job you are born for. You are living for. And you will die for. Though you are not dead, I know that. You are not dead. But this you did on your last moment on earth. Your passing was so peaceful. Yes, it was so peaceful. I've crested you forever in my heart. But I know that God Almighty has you for his keeping. So we meet to part no more. It is very sad. Very, very sad that I, Evelyn, may not be able to see you physically again. The children may not be able to see you physically. Your spiritual sons and daughters, the big synagogue family, and your loved ones in the world. But it's also comforting that you have gone home after service. So sleep on, my love. Sleep on, my God's general. God bless you.